tofauti hapa uh, tunataka tu tubadilishe lugha sasa hivi tuongee lugha yetu um, uh, naona hapa tuko na wageni uh, tunasubiri na watu hapa watu join lakini uh, tunaweza tukaanza kwa sababu tuko na muda kidogo tuna tuna tutamaliza saa 12 sasa tunataka tuanze sasa hivi um, sijui hapa kuna wageni tunataka tuanze kwanza watu wajitambulishe um, uh, kwanza lakini tutasikia hapa kuna watu wana mashwari wanataka kuwauliza uh, wenzangu na watu wana join sasa hivi um, lakini tunasikia watu wawili wamepata chanjo chanjo um, lakini tuta tutaona kama tuna muda tunaweza tukafanya kitu kingine kama tuna tunaweza tukaingia tuna ma group au tukasikia watu wengine kama wana mashwari wanataka kuwauliza um, sasa Lucy na Alda sijui ni nani naweza kaanza sasa hivi kujitambulisha tikini tuko hapa tunaosikia tu hamna shida sawa nani aenda kwanza mimi ama Sara Uh, I wanted to uh, I don't know nice car that from my second okay habari zenu mimi naitwa Aida mimi naishi uh, Pennsylvania no naishi California now US uh, nimekuwa nas miaka 10 uh, na niko California now for miaka 3 and na so excuse me uh, so in It's not the best but I'm trying na jaribu. Um <clears throat> bina na, nimekuwa na wasi miaka 10 na nimekuwa na covid patients miaka moja now and I can never ku answer any maswali watu wako nayo and that's all. Asante sana. Mhm. Uh-huh. Tuna shukuru ku kukubali kubali kufanya hivi uh, watu wanataka waelewe kabisa wajue uh, kama wana wanaiko wana, 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 wana shida wanataka kuuliza tu wanataka wajue sasa hivi kama wanaweza kupata chancho au uh, sijui uh, Lucy na wewe tuna pa nice cup yeah. Asante nashukuru sana kuwa nanyi leo Jina langu ni Lucy na Lucy Rombasile naishi hapa Atlanta Georgia. Eh ama abina nas for nafikiri miaka 12 na au miaka 15 na tano nashahao. <laughs> uh, lakini eh ama nasi in Georgia na vile pia ada masema nimefanya nimefanya nimekuwa na patients wengi sana wana covid mwaka huu uliopita nimesaa since gen, since when march last year yeah. march 20, march 2020 see mm-hmm. mm-hmm. tangu march 2020 tumekuwa in close proximity na watu wengi sana ambao wamepata hiyo ugonjwa wa covid sasa vile tunaendelea inaendelea kuishi inaendelea kuisha kwa maana watu wengi sana wamepata vaccine na naweza kuongea kidogo juu ya hiyo eh, maneno mm. lakini utanisamehe naweza kuongea lakini nitaongea na kizungu <laughs> tawelezea na kizungu amna shida tu na sisi hapa sio kama uh, Kiswahili ndio lugha ya kwanza watu hapa wanaongea wanaongea lugha nyingi Kiswahili mm-hmm. Kinyarwanda tunachanganya tu hamna uh, shida haya yeah. excuse me uh, bless you yeah um, sasa hapa tuko tuna wa, tuna tuna tunasubiri watu lakini tuna, tunaanza sasa hivi tuna watu 12 hapa sasa hivi 12 lakini watu wanaweza waka join um, uh, Ibrahim naona sijui kama nataka kusema kitu Anmi okay. Unanisikia? Yeah, sasa kusikia sasa. Ah, ya kwanza ni na nawasilimia. Na, na yeah, Nyote kwa ujumla. 
Asante. Asante. Mimi mimi kwa jina naitwa Rafael Ibrahim. Na ni mkaaji wa Machachuseti. Niseme tu siti ya Holyok. Na kwa hapa Marekani nimesikia wenzangu kwamba wana maka, wana miaka mingi. Mimi kwa hapa Marekani nina miaka mitano. Vile vile kwenye janga hili la corona mimi ni mwathirika wa janga hilo ila Mungu ameniwezesha nilipona na vile vile katika watu waliochanjwa nimechanjwa tu hivi karibuni chanjo zote mbili nimemaliza lakini nilichanjwa kwa shingo upande kulingana na ninavyoangalia mitandao ya jamii labda na mimi katika watu wanauliza maswali na mimi nitauliza hivyo ili nielewe zaidi asante kwa kunisikiliza Ya yeah, asante sana. Um, ya yeah, sio kama kila mtu tunampatia muda wa kujitambulisha sasa hivi kwa, kwa juu ya ya muda tunao. Mm. Uh, nataka tuendelee na maswali najua kuna wenzangu hapa tunafanya kazi pamoja. Uh, unafikiria hapa Linda, Rose. Hao watu ndio tuko mtimo mmoja tunafanya kazi pamoja. Lakini yeah. tunasubiri Nao watu wana wanatujua lakini tunataka tuanze na tuingilie tuingie ndani ya ya nani ya conversations. Um tulikuwa tu tunataka tuendelee na maswali uh, kama tukipata muda tuingie kwa group ndo tunaweza uh, watu waka wakajoana vizuri um, kama tuna muda. So sasa hivi nataka tuingie ndani. Nafikiri niko na mashwari hapo nimesikia kwa watu walikuwa wanasema na wenzangu na fikiri wana zingine uh, wanataka kuuliza um ya yeah, nataka tuingie ndani kwa juu ya ya hizo shwari tena um sijui kama au wenzangu kuna, kuna mtu anataka kuanza na shwari kuuliza wageni hapa uh, jambo mm. Mm. Jambo. Ah. Jambo jambo. Jambo. Tunawasalimia. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa ona uh, leo. Uh, Tunawashukuru uh, wa wageni wetu wanaokubaba presenter wetu. Ah. Uh, Tuko na watu walikuwa wanataka ku join. <laughs> Mkiona niko naenda narudia na nikajua watu wanataka ku join na ninatani watumie link ni waoneshe kwa kwenye watafanya kuingia mwahiri room. Lakini uh, naambia watu wetu wa, wa, wa kongolizi wetu wa kitaba basi waogope kuuliza najua wako na maswala mengi wanajiuliza kwa hii swala ya ya vaccine natani waambie basi waogope kuuliza all the questions maswali yote weko nayo waulize hii ni muda mzuri wa ku, kujua cha ukweli cha kufanya tuko na watu ba, 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 wa kusaidia ku, kusiki, kusikia hiyo 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 tatizo ya, ya vaccine thank you so much ah oh, sijuni asijasema jina langu jina langu ni rose kadigiwa natumika pale kwa uh, tunafanya kazi kwenye Jewish Family Service as case worker tunafanya kazi na wa Congolese community asante sana Ulikuwa na shwari nataka kuuliza shwari nataka kuuliza Nina uh, mi, ninataka kwa kwa motivate wa wa, wa client baba oh. wa, ya wasiogope kuuliza swala za tuko nayo Okay Ni na wana watu wanataka kufanya kusema Sijui ni nani anaongea. Ah. Uh, yeah, tunaweza tukaifanya hivyo 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 mbio mbio uh, kama tunataka kusema jina lako na kitu unafanya mu community au kazi unafanya inaweza ikawa sawa sijui kama naweza nika nikauliza watu sasa hivi au watu wakaendelea tu hivyo hivyo na hiyo tunatungeendelea tu jambo la muda tuendelee okay jambo jambo 
Yeah. Jina langu Linda Grace natumika ku Jewish family na mimi niko Kiswaka natumikana na community ya Congolese community Randis um yeah Okay gani okay. niulize swala ya kwanza <laughs> Niko na watu wengi waliniuliza swala waliniambia mtu akikamata ile vaccine hawezi kuzaa mm. Yeah ukiwa uko 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 mtu mdogo unataka kukuzaa kukua na watoto kukua na family ukikamata ile vaccine hauwezi kukuzaa natani uulize watu 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 ambie hivyo ni ni ukweli haiko ukweli <laughs> yeah i can go first hiyo <clears throat> ni uongo kwa sababu najua hata wanawake wako na you know they're pregnant already they want to chukua shot so hiyo ni uongo you can unaweza kuchukua hiyo vaccine Pfizer or Moderna whether i think age ni 12 and above mm-hmm. and hiyo ni uongo i could say it's a lie you can be you can have kids after you get the vaccine because there's pregnant people having the vaccine also mm-hmm. okay na mimi nataka kuuliza swali mm-hmm. like to add ka- kama ni ningeza kuongeza hapo kidogo ama labor and delivery nurse mm. and to know uh, our clients wanapata hiyo dawa wanapata Madonna au Pfizer na kuna mmoja wao na kuna mmoja wao ajai kupoteza mtoto au ameshindwa kupata mimba juu ya vaccine so it is considered very safe na mimi na swali Aya. Endelea. Jambo wa nduku ni mimi hapa Samuel. Naitwa mm. Samuel Kufiodi. Mm. Ah, swali yangu iko hivi. Nasikia wengine wanasema wakati tunaipokea machanjo ailete madhara hapo hapo. Lakini baada ya miaka kadhaa, labda miaka tatu, miaka ine, inaweza kuleta tatizo katika ndani ya mimi. Hiyo ni kweli wala ni uongo. Right now vile tunaendelea na hii na hii vaccine kwa maana hii ni mpya. We don't know for sure at miaka tatu au miaka nne au miaka kumi kutakuwa na shida ya a, a, a certain type. So atuwezi ongea I, I, I don't think kuna mtu anaweza sema for sure at kutapatikana kutapati hii shida au shida hii kwa maana this thing is still very new vile 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 CDC wamesema na vile Dr Fauci amesema pia na wenzao the, the people who are still in, in the research also wamesema categorically hatuwezi jua for sure what is going to happen leo au miaka kumi if in 10 years atwezi jua sahi okay sante nashukuru sana swali nyingine mm paki kuchoma ya shindane na uma muda ya masiku ngapi vile najua shindano ya Pfizer particularly shindano ya Pfizer ukidungwa leo shindano mm-hmm. ya kwanza ndio vile tunaambia watu ni Sta, uh, use your arm round and round the first day una eh hivyo eh, round and round usikae tu hivyo ni vile una, una, una vile tulikuwa tunadungwa nini shindano ya ya, ya flu for example just move your arm the first day hivyo usually okay. the first the first dose ya Pfizer usually the biggest symptom ni headache usually ni headache mm-hmm. na uchungu kwa site mahali umedungwa mm-hmm. uchungu kwa site na headache wengine wamesema wamepata body aches na na chills the fever fever kidogo lakini that is just the first shot the second shot hata dr fauci mwenyewe alisema alipata hizi symptoms mimi pia nilipata nilipata headache 
nikapata uh, chills au fever nikapata body aches lakini zilisha baada ya um, baada ya siku tatu ikuendelea so of course we've had the worst case scenarios wenye wamekufa lakini that is in the 2% ndio wamesema CDC na Dr Fauci na watu wake Nilo lake na mimi nilipatia shindano hiyo in February na the only thing that happened was my arm was so kiasi si sana and uh, sikupata body aches or fever or anything and then hiyo shindano ya ya second hata siku sikupata a uh, sore arm so i think it depends on the person's body you know vile body yako iko hopefully usipate any uh, side effects hopefully upatiwe na utakuwa sawa lakini wanasema ngo also unaweza kuchukua tala no you know after you get it so it just depends on your body na shukuru sana kwa majibu yenu asante sana lakini mna mnakumbuka na, na, na zile shindano zingine watoto wanawapatia mtoto akipata shindano anaweza kagonjwa wa siku moja siku mbili nini yeah. haiko particular kwa hii shindano ya, ya covid ni, ni, ni shindano zile shindano zingine unapata unaweza kaumwa kichwa ikakuuma mkono ikakuumwa so ha, haiko ya ya hii covid vaccine only kweli kweli that's true mm. Mm. Um, nikuwa na nasema na niulize uh, uki unaweza ukapimwa positive au chanya baada ya chanjo Uliza tena Unaweza ukapimwa positive baada ya chanjo Sijaskia Sijaskia utapata positive result I'm not I'm not 100 I'm not hurt lakini it doesn't mean I, uh, it hasn't happened mimi nafanya kazi huko med search and tumesikia hivyo madaktari wengine like watu wanakuja wanapimwa wana wanakuwa positive na wana symptoms saa zingine like once in a while wanasemanga yeah utakuja positive cause uko na nini vaccine so sometimes it happens not all the time but sometimes rarely i would say wasn't the challenge they were saying the challenge was that perhaps you were sick before you mm. got vaccine mm-hmm. that's the that's, other, the other, that's the other side of the story yeah so some are saying they got they got covid because of the vaccine but then the question is were you sick before the vaccine that mm. oh, too yeah endelea endelea wenzangu kama hivyo brother jampola nauliza kwamba unapata vaccine na uko positive. Sasa hiyo hiyo mnasema inaweza fashikana. Swali yangu iko hivi. Mie mimi napata vaccine. Zote mbili namaliza. Kwa nini navala mask? It is to protect you from the people who are not vaccinated. Mhm. Njo pale mimi navala mask. Eh, it is for your pro- your protection also so that you also usipate covid alafu upelekee watu watu familia yako au watu unaishi nao au watu unafanya kazi nao so vile wanasema ni hata kama umepata vaccine shot ume, umechanjwa mm-hmm. zote mbili endelea tu kuvaa mask kwa sababu sisi si, si, si sote tumefanya tumechanjwa wengine wanaendelea tu hivyo na wajachanjwa wanaendelea tu kwen maisha yao wajachanjwa bado so it is for your protection as well tega ni kusema chanjo haina perfect ina nini tega ni kusema chanjo haina perfect haina effect effect tunasema effect haina perfect ya kutunza wala kukinga kwa corona Um, no. Okay I think he's asking you can you take vaccine and get tested positive later after the vaccine Ah I just say my you Mimi nasema 
Hali yangu ilikuwa napata vaccine. Mhm. Mm Ndelea kuvala mask. Mkanijibia ya kwamba hiyo hiyo mask e mask unavala kwa sababu ya kufanya protection. Sasa ni kusema hiyo chanjo aina na kazi katika ndani ya mwili wangu. Ah. Mm. Kama well, ilikuwa, kama ilikuwa na nani na nguvu kama Misu vale mask njumi najua kwamba miko deja protected. Sasa miyo minesha kujituanga me mask aitokake kukinyo kwa usiku na mchana. Sasa iyo vaccine nafanya kazi gani. Mnyonesha. Ok, wacha nisembe. So, ukuchukua vaccine, nitasema you'd have, you auta kuwa mgonjwa sana. So, sote nisembe misi chachukua vaccine. Mi nikipata corona naweza kuwa mgonjwa 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 lakini wewe uko uko na vaccine au utakuwa mgonjwa sana. Mm-hmm. Ndio tunawaambia watu wavae mask still kwa sababu kuna watu wengi huko wataki kupatiwa vaccine which is okay it's up to you it's your life. But ule ana vaccine atakuwa mgonjwa sana. I would say well it also depends but what they're saying is ule ako na vaccine Hata kwa mgonjwa sana, like the one Hana. And that's why you still have to wear your mask because kuna watu wa chukui vaccine. So ni kuse... Kusi vaccine, si 100%. Kuna chance still that utakuwa mgonjwa. You see? Oh. Okay. Pare, pare, ni elewe vizuri. Ni kuse matana kukere vaccine. Magonjwa napasha kunibama. Me lakini hawezi kunikaza wala kunyangamiza. Mhm. Haitakuwa na nguvu. Haitakuwa na nguvu. Ya yeah, ungali utagonjwa lakini ile magonjwa haitakuwa na nguvu maana utakuwa na dawa yenyewe itaipiga yenyewe ita, 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 itaikinga. Okay. Kufuatana jinsi nimeelewa. Eh na, na kuelewa mzee. Ya yeah. na nasema na mimi nimekujibu si wewe hata tutauliza maswali. <laughs> Ninasema kufuatana jinsi nimeelewa wa waganga jinsi wamesema. Ndio maana nimesema vile. Okay. Ibrahim ana swali. Ibrahim toa you have to unmute yourself. Swa na, naomba wataalamu wangu wanisaidie. Mimi nimekubali kuchanjwa kwa sababu ya umri. Hicho ni kitu cha kwanza kwa sababu kulingana na umri na umri wangu niliona kwamba sito pata mtoto nikakubali kuchanjo lakini nilipokuwa Afrika nilipokea machanjo mengi yaliyokuwa yali yakifanyiwa utafiti sasa hii chanjo ya corona kwa kweli ni ulizo wa hao wataalamu wetu ni kwamba zimefanyiwa utafiti na kama zimefanyiwa utafiti kwenye miaka mitano waliochanjwa kama ni ambao wata wanaendelea na kuzaa ni, 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 ni mtoto wa inagana takaizaliwa baada hizi chanjo kwa sababu huku kuna uvumi kwamba hizi chanjo zinapunguza nguvu za uzazi nataka mtuelimisha hapo kwenye miaka mitano iliyoko mbele atazaliwa binadamu wa aina gani sasa vile tulikuwa tunaeleza mbele mbeleni hii mm-hmm. chanjo inmpia hakuna ndio aina 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 for sure ati miaka tano miaka tano hapo mbeleni vile kutafuta mm-hmm. we don't know lakini research inaendelea kufanywa na wanasema wenye wenye wanazaa watoto saa hii wanadungwa na anaendelea kuzaa watoto hao watoto hawana shida vile tunaona hata watoto waliozaa waliozaliwa last year na mwaka umepita atujaona tofauti ya ati amepata ya ya wamepata symptoms za za kitafa you know a certain type we haven't seen so far so there's no evidence yet according to cdc according to dr fauci na the other researchers there is no hard evidence what is going to happen in 5 years in 10 years from now mm. um, 
Mimi kona swali. Eh hey, ndele ya Mr. Okay. Mimi eta misumbua kwa sababu napenda nijue haki. Sawa. Ya uliza tu hamna shida. Okay. Sasa ma vaccine tunaisha ipokea. Kama mnapita miaka 4 au miaka tano, inaanza kuleta madhara katika mwili. Mtafanya je mwe wa daktari mwe wa somi? Swali yangu hiyo. Hopefully hopefully by five years tutakuwa uh-huh. tumepata research. Na tumepata na tumepata the different symptoms and different things that have happened in the five years. Mm. So with that research, what I what and like to make the vaccine or the, now you're going to be doing a booster really not so much vaccine. You're going to be doing the booster. Hopefully in five years and 10 years from now, the research will have been done to accommodate all these different scenarios so that Now we know how to make the booster effective. Wengine atusikii Kiingereza. Sorry. Watu watu espike vizuri mkiswahili. Unaweza kusema mkiswahili au tulize wenzangu wa kusaidia kidogo. Nauliza usaidizi. Fikiri unaweza kumsaidia? Sure idea. Sio anaweza ku nani ili nianze ku nani? Kutafuta so kwa from 5 years from now what is going to happen and mm. how are we going to make sure that we are going to have enough uh, evidence for the vaccine. And my answer is what is CDC is saying and what the researchers with Dr. Fauci are saying. Hopefully as science has done you collect your data you put it together and then what they're going to do with now what is going to be the booster because hopefully everybody will be vaccinated the mm. next vaccine you get is a booster hopefully that booster will be strong enough or or, or to to correct or not to correct but it will be strong enough to take care of the things that we have missed 2019. Eh, eh swali ilikuwa kama jinsi ndugu Samuel ameuliza tayari tumechukua vaccine baada ya miaka mitano matatizo kitokea ninyi mtafanyaje sasa so, imejibiwa kama ifuatavyo kufuatana na watafiti na CB, CBC CDC wanyewe wanahusika na magonjwa kuambukiza Marekani na wenye kufanya utafiti wako wanaendelea kufanya utafiti na kuna nyingine ambayo tayari imeshaandaliwa ambayo inaitwa booster kwa lolote ile ambayo litatokea ile itapewa watu na hiyo ita, ita, itaenda ku, itaenda kuchunga na itaenda kuzuia ili matatizo yasisumbue au yasi, yasifikie watu tunategemea kwamba kwa miaka hiyo mitano tutakuwa tayari tumeshapata tumeshavumbua mambo mengi Asante pajibu mzuri. Yeah, asante sana. Um, mtu mwingine anatakiwa swali. Linda alikuwa ananyosha mkono hapa na. Ah oh, Linda, eh, eh, yes, uh, I can I can ask my question. Uh, swali yangu ni kuwa ni kwa na ji ni kwa na kwa muta na kamata Tanra. Sasa inakuwa inaweza inaweza bakia kudumu kwa muda gani katika mwili kwa mwili wetu how long that can last in our body that's the first question and um, the second question that i'm asking is uh, ab- ab- apart from the the effect that we know that we already know like death and losing taste and other things what other effects that covid can cause for those people who who refuse to take vaccine so that so people here can really understand the effects of covid so if they don't take the vaccine what the effects that they can face and, uh, uh, yeah. also the second question because siku sike ya kwanza me me nilichukua vaccine kwa sababu nafanya kazi kwa hospitali the last year with covid patients 
niliona okay mnajua of course effect moja ni death nimeona watu wengi wamekufa kulikuwa na month moja i think every day mtu anakufa kwa hospital that was my reason i was nilikuwa na nia kwa hospital kwa sababu watu wamekufa wamekufa kwa sababu ya hii covid hiyo ndio ilikuwa reason ya kuchukua one of the reasons kuchukua ni the vaccine another effect e covid ikikushika <coughs> ina affect lungs zako na lungs zako zitakuwa um, the same utakuwa every time utakuwa si mgonjwa mgonjwa lakini ulikuwa watu wako na asthma especially ukipata hiyo covid lungs zako zitakuwa even worse watu wako na COPD na diabetes ukishika hiyo covid utakuwa mgonjwa mgonjwa utakufa lakini utakuwa kwa hiyo hospitali um, maybe nimeona watu wakikuwa kwa hospitali even three months kwa sababu ya covid mm. also another effect i don't know, your, your body just haitakuwa the same mwili wako haitakuwa the same ukipata covid watu wanasemanga wakipata covid wanasikuanga too weak all the time so that's it una swala ya pili ame ya kwanza yengine ameuliza one question can can we uh, just ask that question so that fikir can help to interpret that so that they can really know why they should take the vaccine fikir can you help mo ile question yako ambayo umeuliza yes kwa question yako unaweza kulinani ilikuwa uliuliza question the reason, the, the reason why we should take the vaccine kwa nini kwa nini tuchukue chanjo ndio ilikuwa swali kwa nini tuchukue chanjo na ndio sababu amejibu akaonesha kwamba ukichukua chanjo imeonesha ususani wale watu ambao wana magonjwa sugu amegusia ame kama vile wenye wako na na ugonjwa wa kisukari wenye wako na magonjwa sugu inaenda ku, kuwaasiri sana na kuwaua haraka kwa hiyo wakati unachukua chanjo inakuwa kinga ya kusaidia ili usiasirike zaidi okay, can, niulize swali na mimi ndio Yeah, the most yeah, important yeah. thing to understand fakiri ni saidia tafadhali the most important thing to understand is kitu cha muhimu zaidi kuelewa ni kwamba if you do not get vaccinated ikiwa haukubali hau kuchanjwa the chances of getting covid will be higher that's number one. Na, kitu cha kwanza itakuwa rahisi sana kwa wewe kuambukizwa na hii ugonjwa wa covid 19 getting it's going to affect not just you it affects your family it affects the people you work with kwamba si kwamba itatatizwa ita, 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 si kwamba wewe mwenyewe ndio utatatizwa lakini itaenda kutatiza familia yako na watu ambao mnafanya kazi pamoja. So you can get your family sick, you can get your coworkers sick, you can also get the people in your community sick. Kwa hiyo unaweza ukaambukiza familia yako wakawa wagonjwa, ukaambukiza wafanyakazi wenzako wakawa wagonjwa, hata na jamii inayokuzunguka pia unaweza wanaweza wakasirika. So the people who have been sick as Ada said, the people who have been sick with covid have different variations i got sick as well fortunately for me it was only one month eh, watu ambao wameambukizwa na ugonjwa ambao wamegonjwa wanakuwa na eh, na vitu tofauti tofauti kufuatana na, na mili yao kama mimi mwenyewe nimeugonjwa lakini imenichukua tu mwezi mmoja but for that one month it was horrible lakini kwa huo mwezi mmoja ilikuwa ni hatari for me to get back to my regular health kwa mimi kurudi tena kwenye afya yangu ya kila siku and my, and back to my strength na kuwa tena na mwenye kuwa na nguvu 
it took another month ili nichukua ili nigarimu mwezi mmoja pia so for example amazmatic kwa mfano ikiwa inakuwa na eh, ugonjwa wa asthmatic and fortunately again it did not affect my lungs so much na kwa bahati nzuri haikuhasiri eh, ha, haikuhathiri eh, ma, ma, mafafa yangu au viungo vya ndani zaidi but i was so weak i couldn't work a, a regular eight hour shift i was just weak um, and i wasn't myself nilikuwa mbovu mzaifu sana sikuweza hata kutumika siku eh, eh, kwenye siku ambazo nasali kutumika so what i saw is it affected my children it affected my family it niliona affected... im, imeenda kuwasili watoto wangu na imeathiri familia yangu because they have to take care of me for this extended time kwa sababu lazima bani bani chunge bani hudumie kwa huu muda wote and we are we had to be quarantined in the, in the in the house na hapo ili ni niazimu nijichunge ni garantani mwenyewe ndani ya nyumba and when i returned back to work i wasn't as i wasn't as um, productive as i was before eh na niliporejea kazini sikukua kabisa mwenye nguvu mwenye uwezo kama jinsi nilivyokuwa awali So that affected my colleagues as well. Na hiyo pia imeathiri wafanyakazi wenzangu. I hope that answers the question. Ninaamini hiyo ndio ilikuwa swali yako nimeijibu. Eh swali yangu nina swali kama ngapi lakini basi nitajibu moja baada nyingine na wengine wanajibu tena narudia. Swali yangu ya kwanza. Kuna aina nyingi za vaccine. Ni ipi iliyo bora zaidi? Hiyo ni swali yangu ya kwanza. Na swali ya swali ya pili. Ikiwa haina madhara kama jinsi Samuel aliuliza kwamba hii COVID-19 haina madhara mili yetu. Ikiwa haina matatizo, haina problem, kwa nini banapokuchanja wanakuambia usubiri kwa muda kwanza pale pale chini? Kwa hiyo bana hisi kuna nini? Hadi nisubiri kwa nini basi nichange na niende nyumbani. Tajibu. Na okay, Itajibu. acha kwanza tujibu hizo mbili alafu ndio eh yeah, mwache kwanza wa wa hizo mbili. Ndio. swali ya kwanza. Ndio. Sa, sasa swali ya kwanza ilikuwa which one is the the best? The best. Aya. Yes. Vile wanasema ni Pfizer COVID Pfizer has 70 79% efficacy Pfizer they have said Pfizer has the best efficacy of all three Pfizer, Pfizer Moderna we don't know so much about Johnson and Johnson mm. Yes Okay Pfizer na Moderna. Mo, Moderna. 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 Oh. Ah. Okay. Ya pili. Ya pili nimesahau vile uliuliza. Eh, ya pili nimeuliza ikiwa eh, chanja ya COVID haina madhara, haina ma, matatizo. So kwa nini baada ya kuchanjwa bana kuambia usubirie kwanza chini? 15 minutes. Mm. Why? Banaogopa nini ikiwa bana trust? If say again, if you are vaccinated, why should you wait 15 minutes? 15 minutes if it's safe, if it's good, if it's a trust the vaccine. Mm, I get it. Why well, okay. 15 minutes waiting? Actually that's what he's asking. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because after after being vaccinated, you know, you will be told you will be told to wait for 15 minutes. Yes, the reason for that Yes. To make okay. sure that you do not get uh what is it called? You do not get a reaction. Mm. Because some reactions can be very bad. Mm-hmm. Some people pass out. And some people get sweat they get very uh, hot and sweaty. So you don't know what reaction is going to be for 
different people eh ikiwa wanakuambia usubiri kwa muda baada ya kuchanjwa ni kwa sababu inakuwa na ma, na matukio yake kuna vitu ambavyo vinaweza kutokea hasa eh, kama vile kuna watu ambao baada ya kuchanjwa wanasikia jasho sana wanasikia jasho sana wengine wanaanza sikia kifukutu kizunguzungu sasa kwa hiyo ili kwamba wa, kwa sababu ya usalama wako ndio sababu wanakuambia usubirie kwa dakika 15 ili uangalie kama huko lolote ambalo linaweza kujitokeza Okay. Ya yeah, fikiri nimesikia ulikuwa na swali zingine lakini kwa juu ya muda yeah, yeah, na na naachia kwanza wengine wengine baulize waendelee kuuliza. Yeah. Yeah, na nilikuwa nafikiri ni sema kuna kitu kingine tulikuwa tunataka tusikie Samuel nimemwona iko hapo. Um nilikuwa na swali la mwisho ndio yangu. Ya mwisho. Okay. Um tulikuwa yeah. kwanza tusikie Samuel atuambie kwa sababu na alichukua chancho uh, kuna mtu mwingine aja, aja, aja to join hapa uh, Samuel atatuambia uh, kwa juu ya kuchukua chancho lakini wewe Ibrahim tutakupatia muda nyuma to visa shughuli nyingine Samuel chukua ya kuseme kwa juu ya uh, your experience experience uh, kwa juu ya kuchukua chancho ume unaweza kusema uh. Okay nashukuru sana. Mm. Mie nilichukua chanjo, chanjo yangu ya kwanza ilikuwa mwezi wa wa 4. Ilikuwa mwezi wa 4 tarehe kumi. Wakati nikachukua hiyo chanjo wakati alinitwanga tu nikaitwanga. Mpaka niambie nikali 15 minutes nikala pale sikusikia chochote. Mimi wakati nilitoka kule nikafika nyumbani sikusikia chochote. Mekufika usiku. Kufika usiku mkono liuma sana. Hii mkono yote liuma paka nazo sikia kuchoka nikaanza kunyosha nyosha. Tashia saba likupiga. Unaona mtu kama akupiga muti hapa vile mkono na rege yako. Ndio ni lazo Samaye kidogo. Naweza kukukumbusha ni 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 chanzo ipi wamekupatia ni Pfizer au ni Moderna? Una, unajua? Moderna. Ende. Sasa kwa siku ya kwanza siku ya pili liuma na siku ya tatu ni siku ya ine ikatulia. Bas e kwanza tena kuluma. Wakati nilienda kupokea chanjo ya ya pili ilikuwa hii mwezi tarehe kumi tena mwezi wa tano Nikapokea haikuluma chochote. Me lakini hapa sasa njoo mimi nasikia saa mkono kuchoka sa kuregea me tashikia saa pe na choka saa inauma ndani ukifanya hivi hivi mnaifanya nasikia huko mnaluma mfupa inatenga unalia ki 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 me lakini miko sawa ile wanasema njuu nilishikia wengine wanasema itakulewesha itakufaisha nini mimi kwa mimi hiyo haikunitokea liuma tu mkono side moya tu hapa walinipigia shindano me aina na mazao yote Enjoy. Sasa kwa jua nini wewe ushapata hiyo vaccine? That's the that, hiyo ni, ni, ni swala yangu. Kwa jua kwa jua nini ushakamata hiyo decision ya kupata hiyo vaccine? Okay, takujibia kama kisheria. <laughs> ah, kama kufuatana na sheria, wanasema mm. bila kwamba mtu wote anapaswa apate vaccine ile ilikuwa njo tangazo ya kwanza tangazo ya pili uh, tatizo yenyewe nilichukua mie nichukue vaccine kwa sababu niliona magonjwa iko na kuja na magonjwa iko na tawala na kazi yangu mimi iko na mimi iko nafanya ya kulinda wazee bali amua wale wote wanatumika na watu ni paka wapokee ile chanjo Njoo niliamua kwenda kupokea chanjo kwa sababu nisikose kazi zangu. Mm. Asante sana Samuel kwa experience. Uh, Wala nikujibia ingine tena. Unataka uswali ingine nikujibie kwa uhusu vaccine? Mhm. Okay. Vaccine sio mbaya. Vaccine sio nzuri. 
Kwa vile unaepokea iko mbaya. Kwa vile utaepokea tena iko mzuri. Hata Yesu aliwaambia akasema ya Kaisala mpatie Kaisala ya Mungu mpatie Mungu. Sasa vaksena kuu ya sio ya Mungu ya Kaisala. Tunaishi inchi ya Kaisala. Kama wanaleta sheria kwa mama mpokee vaksi, hatuwezi kuikatala. Bale wenye walisema kutupokea vaksi, kuna mambo yenyewe waliona kuhusu vaksi ndio pale wana ruhusu kutupachia hayo. Sasa wanasema mtu wote fa pokea flu shot. Ukikosa kupokea flu shot utakuwa na madhara yako uzarao ya flu shot wakati ya baridi kama baridi takupika sana utakumbuka vaksi ya flu shot binesha pit so na si ndio hapa tunapasha kuipokea kama vile tunapokea flu shot okay asante sana asante sana kami ina swali la mwisho yeah na, na kunakumbuka ibrahim uh, sema kabisa uh, swali yako tuendelee ah ya mimi swali langu nauliza wataalamu kwa sababu hivi la corona huwa linakuja kwa awamu ya kwanza mara matangazo yanasema inayokuja ya pira ni kali zaidi ya tatu sasa hivi itakapokuja ya ine je waliochanjwa watarudi kuchanjwa au hizo chanjo zitadumu hiyo cha huo ugonjwa utakaokuja mara nne no no i do I didn't understand the question forgive me. I didn't even forgive me. I only rudi amje amje yelewa. He said he said that there is the first dose you know like the kind of the vaccine. Mm -hmm. First shot and the second one. Mm -hmm. Then now there is some you know news like we will have even three. Mm -hmm. So other than saying that okay how if now after some time there is another one that we need for so what is going to happen all of us who took the first and the second are we going to take other two to to have four shot or is going to be only for those new who did not start even or who did not take even one i don't uh, think sorry go ahead ada um i think it was out in any ni, ni rumors there is no ni ma, ni habari tu yeah ni habari there's no news yet that has not, has come i think they are all rumors that's what i would say for now na sema, na, we don't na sema kwamba hizo tu ni ni pepere tu ni ni habari habari tu lakini hakuna ambacho hey, wakati india wamekufa wame wengi kwenye corona ya wamu ya tatu hmm. ya wapi India India wamefariki watu wengi kwenye corona ya awamu ya tatu ambayo imekuja na nguvu zaidi. Yaani uh -huh. yaani umemaanisha ni awamu ya corona au ya vaccine? Uh -huh. Aha, awamu ya ugonjwa ya ugonjwa. Wake so wanasema awamu ya kwanza ya pili so na nguvu zaidi kuliko ile. So there is so as the covid it is start of like covid 1 number 1 like the one which we started then now there is two you know but not vaccine i'm saying the kind of the variation of the, yes. yes yes so now it is like in india mm -hmm. now they are they are struggling with three number three mm -hmm. so now after some days maybe they will rise another one four so what is going to happen are we going to take other vaccine or will we remain just with the one which we got <laughs> Well, we pray none of them come. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> I say but tunaomba. Understand. Tunaomba kama hakuna hata hiyo yenye itarudia tena nyingine. <laughs> Inawezi karudi kwa sababu zinakuja awamu ni janga ambalo limetokea tena wana, kama hawa ni wataalamu watuambie je limetengenezwa na watu au ni ugonjwa ambao umeletwa tu na shetani. Eh watuambie so tu kweli. So it can it can happen because it's, it's just a pandemic is you know, first one second one so like you 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 guys as a professional just tell us the truth is it a really pandemic which came from the devil or is just something which was created Now that is a debate 
that has been a debate from the beginning because I say it came from the Wuhan lab e kitu ambacho kimetoka kwenye laboratoire ya ya uhani huko and that is what they're saying is propaganda na hiyo wanasema ni ni propaganda tu so <laughs> what we know is the disease has come and it hit all of us mm. na tunachokijua ni kwamba maambukizi yamejitokeza yamekuja na imeenda kuasiri sisi sote So whether it came from the market Wuhan market or it came from Wuhan lab we all got it eh hata kama waseme imetoka mwile soko ya wanyama ya kule uwai wengine wamesema imetoka kwenye eh kwenye malaboratoire ya nani kule ya ya huko huko kwao lakini kitu ambacho tunajua sisi sote na wao tumeipata tumeambukizwa and also wanna add una kuna kumka hiyo swine flu kulikuwa na swine flu 100 years ago it killed everybody Lays of flu zote from all over so it and I hope it goes away and never comes back. Eh ninaamini kwamba tulikuwa tena na zingine aina za za homa ambazo ziliua watu wengi kwa miaka iliyopita. Lakini nazo zilikuja hivyo zikashughulikiwa zikaisha zikaenda na ninaamini hii nayo itapita itaenda. Kuna swali la Jean Jean Paul there's a there's a question of the gentleman but you have to un, unmute yourself sir. Oh. Ya yeah, stamai ichukua ichukua kino endelee mbio tu mdawisha ma muziki ndo naweza kawa ya mwisho lakini wengine muandike maswali mengine tutakuwa na mkutano mwingine mnaweza mnaweza mswali za Ya yeah, stamai Okay mbio. asante sana na shukuru swali yangu iko hivi Kama mimi niligonjwa hapo corona na hiyo corona kamalizika Nikikutana na mtu eko na kirusi kia corona. Hiyo corona inapasha kunyambukiza tena wala hapana. Niulize tena msiki. Nasema uh, hivi. Mwanjo, mwanzo niligonja corona kama nimegonjwa corona before na hiyo corona ikamalizika nikagonjwa corona hiyo corona ikamalizika mwili wangu sasa mkupita pita tena nikapatana na mtu yuko na corona sk ile magonjwa corona itanikamata tena wala hapana oh so is the short is like before i was affected with corona mm-hmm. is it possible for me to be reaffected again after getting you know uh, after getting what can i say baada kupona you know after the getting wild the second yeah. time yeah the second time yeah mm. I've I've seen... Seen... Vaccine, I've seen people get sick again they get sick Mm-hmm. It depends. I've seen people get sick again, which mm-hmm. which is sad, but it happens. Ina inategemeana. Najua kwamba ni 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 habari ngumu, lakini vinafanyika. Nimeona watu ambao waligonjwa na tena wakagonjwa tena baada ya kupona. The problem with the corona it's very it attacks all of your body system. Corona inaenda kuambukia, inaenda kushambulia eh, mwili wako wote, system ya mwili yote. That is why you get so weak. So before you recover from the first bout. Ndio sababu unakuwa eh, unakuwa una nguvu. So then by the time you re- you're trying to recover, it's easy to get sick again. Kwa hiyo kwa muda ambao uko na uko na eh, unajitahidi kama ku kupata tena nguvu kuna kuna uwezo tena ya wewe kugonjwa tena okay naelewa eh yeah. nasikia maswali zingine nitauliza siku nyingine zandike zandike swali zingine andike chini na watu we, wengine hapa wana swali na wauliza tafsiri waziandike chini tulikuwa tuna kitu kingine tunataka kufanya lakini tuishamaliza muda wetu uh, hii ndo mkutano wa kwanza uh, 
na nataka kabisa ni nishukuru uh, Lucy na Ada ku to join uh, tunawashukuru kabisa uh, tunawajulisha uh, tarehe ingine tunaweza tukakutana tutakuwa ku Zoom uh, nafikiri kuna watu wengi wata to join hapa to zungumuze to tuseme mambo ya covid uh, Sijui kama Lucy au ada kuna final words mnataka kusema sasa hivi kitu kingine sijui I'll just say better be safe just be safe y'all wear your mask eh, lazima uwe makini ujilinde na uvae mask da and take the shot na nenda ukachukue eh, vaccine yako Okay. So to add what uh, Ms. Ada said, I just want to re-emphasize and say Nitaka kuongeza tu kupitia yale ambayo mwanangu tayari amezungumzia. When you get COVID, when you get sick with COVID-19. Wakati unaambukia eh, unapata COVID-19. The virus may give you some natural protection. Eh ile virus itakupatia <laughs> itakupatia uwezo nguvu ya kukulinda which are called that is known as immunity or tunazita nini tunazita antibody eh zile tuna kwa, kwa wakati nyingine tunaita kama njoba antibody kama vile basoda tunavaita kongo zaidi wanaita basoda <laughs> ya mwili <laughs> basoda ya mwili yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we don't the experts do not know how long this protection will last lakini wale ambao wafanye utafiti hawajasema kwamba hawajajua itachukua muda gani. So according to the CDC kufuatana na kitengo kinachoshughulikia maambukizo magonjwa ya kuambukiza. The vaccine helps give you it, the vaccine helps by giving you those antibodies. Kwa hiyo vaccine inakusaidia kukupatia wewe hizo ma, ma antibody ma basoda ba mwili. So even though the experts do not know how long that protection will last. Hata kama wafanya utafiti hawajakuwa na uhakika bwana muda gani utakauchukua kwa hiyo antibody ku eh, kuwa mwilini. They believe that the benefits of the protection wanaamini kwamba umuhimu wa kinga hiyo outweigh the risk of no protection at all. Hiyo ni nzuri kuliko kukaa bila kuwa na kinga ya aina yoyote. So the vaccine will help create an immune uh, an, an immune response ag- uh, in your body against corona. Na hiyo itasaidia kupatia immune ambayo itapiganisha itapambana na hii corona. The vaccine may also help you from getting severely ill should you get corona na hiyo inaweza kukusaidia kupatia kinga zaidi ili kwamba usipate corona so get it's better to get vaccinated whether you got sick with covid or not ndio sababu ni vizuri kujiandaa kwenda kuchukua vaccine hata kwamba ulikuwa umeumwa au hujaumwa ni vizuri uende uichukue So it is also even it's, it's important please 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 we work at the hospital and we are seeing this over and over again ni ya mu- sorry ni ya muhimu sana sisi tunatumika kwenye hospitali na tumeona mengi na tunawashauri lazima kuchukua hiyo so we emphasize we emphasize please even though you have been ex- uh, you have been vaccinated Please continue to wear your mask. Kwa hiyo hata kana kwamba umeisha kuchukua eh, doze zako zote mbili tunaendelea kukushauri endelea kutumikisha mask. Cover your nose and your mouth. Some people they cover just the no- the, the mouth. E, funga kinywa chako na pua yako hata kama kuna wengine utawaona wanafunga tu kinywa wanachapua wazi. Wash your hands frequently. Eh nawa mikono yako kila wakati continue to do social distancing 
endelea kuacha ile e, fiti sita katikati na mwenzako kati yao na mwenziwe avoid big crowds na hepukana sana na makundi and if possible avoid poorly ventilated areas na e, uwe, uwe kama kuna uwezekano pia wachane na sehemu can you come again that last way poorly ventilated areas there some people some places where there's no free flowing air e, sehemu ambayo inafunga sana so please protect yourself protect us also at the hospital because when you don't care whether you're vaccinated or not you don't want to get vaccinated but when you get sick you come and find us at the hospital we don't have a choice as to whether to take care of you or not eh tafadhali ujilinde na utulinde na sisi pia kama vile waganda kwa sababu wakati unagonjwa utakimbilia hospitali sasa na sisi pale hatuna kabisa hatuna chaguo la kukataa <laughs> so we all protect each other you protect you you protect us you protect the unajil... family i protect my family kwa hiyo unajilinda tulinde na sisi linda familia yako linda pia na familia zetu na haya machache na ningependa ku sema asante sana thank you for having me Eh asante sana kwa kuwa na mimi. And I hope we shall continue this conversation another time. Na ninaamini kwamba kwa wakati mwingine tutakutana pia na kuendelea na huu na haya maongezi. Sasa tunashukuru sana ila mafundisho haya yaendelee. Eh we oh everybody. Yeah, tutaendelea tutajulisha tarehe nyingine tutakutana. Yeah. Asante sana. Karibu. Na Karibu, karibu. Asante pia. Karibu. Muendelee kutufundisha hivi hivi, tufungike vichwa. Eh? Muendelee kutufundisha tufungike vichwa. Vichwa vilifungwa na corona. Sasa tufungue vichwa. Eh, tuendelee hivyo hivyo tu pole pole. Ah, okay. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Usiwe na usiwe na na uoga. Usiwe na uoga. <laughs> ah, mimi sina uoga. Miko tu perfect kabisa. Miko sawa kabisa. Nataka kujua mengi. Eh, ni vizuri. Na sisemi ni wewe. Ni nako raiuliza. Eh, lakini si siko nasema ti wewe usiwe na uoga. Sisi sote tusiwe na uoga. Tuendelee kujua ma tuendelee ku you know educate ourselves. Okay, sawa okay. sawa. Eh. <laughs> Nashukuru sana mimi ambariki nyi wote. Asante pia wewe. Amen. Bye. Eh uh, tutakutana uh, tena. Uh. Asante fikiri. Karibu tena. Haya. Nice to meet you all.